Hi, Rohit. Hello, sir. How are you? Good That's to see good. you. Good to see you, too. And great to see you, Rachel and Ansel. Hello. Great to see you. Right. Uh, Mr. Spielberg, to you first. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed your movie once again. Um, you know how much Indians love uh, song and dance. It's a part of most of our films. Um, any inspiration from here? Well, certainly the, you know, the, the, the musical has been sustained more in India than any other country in recent decades. Uh, yeah. So Bollywood has continued to find value in musical expression through song and dancing. When right. the Hollywood musical has sort of gone away for a while, it comes back every once in a while with like right. Chicago, which was a great musical and, and Les Mis came out, but it's not as consistent as the love the people in India have for the musical idiom. So we're very grateful for your right. love. We hope our film performs well there because we too are a musical. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Uh, so is this the West Side Story for a new generation, for the say for the millennials? It, it, it is for, it, this is a West Side Story for a new generation. Uh, the, the, you know, we reimagined the original Broadway uh, musical from 1957 right. and we imagined it in the context of what's happening in society today. Mm -hmm. So right. in the context of that, it's much, it's very relevant. And, uh, and you see tremendous parallels between what's happening certainly in our country today and yeah. uh, um, between the sharks and the jets. Um, and, and all, but also the music still lives, it thrives. It is for me, the greatest uh, uh, movie musical score ever written for a, wow. uh, for a, a, a play, a, a, th a theatrical play. And, um, and so that's the reason I wanted to make this as opposed to maybe perhaps doing an original musical. I wanted to bring this musical, this, these values, the, the issues, you know, to light again, where this generation can, can, can identify with it. Right. Uh, Rachel, I'll come to you. You know, it's every actor's dream to work with Mr. Steven Spielberg. Uh, what is it that you would like to say that other actors are listening, that something that they should always remember when they're working with him? <laughs> I, wow. I mean, just embrace every second. Every word is is a prayer. Truly, it is so so inspiring to work with Steven because it's working with someone who truly cares about everything that goes into the projects he works on. And uh, there's attention to detail and there's also the invitation of collaboration, which is so important when making a film, especially a film like West Side Story, where so many of us were bringing our lived experiences that some other members of the cast probably couldn't relate to. And um, it opened so many important conversations and also just Ask Stephen as many questions as you can about, he's got the most interesting life, so why wouldn't you want to hear about it? <laughs> right, right. And so, you know, uh, when they're happy, they're singing and dancing. When they're sad, they're singing and dancing. What is a set, a uh, normal day like on the sets? Uh, always very focused and excited. Uh, had more, more energy, I think, than almost any other set I've ever been on. Wow. Uh, yeah, the days that were the days that it, it's funny. I, I saw uh, a member of the Sharks yesterday, um, and it was crazy to see his face because I remember being in the Rumble for six days straight where we shot, and mm. that scene was really intense. And the face that I saw last night was very different than the face I saw for six days straight. Um, right. So we definitely had some dark, challenging times together. Um, we had some happy times, um, and you're right. Like this film kind of goes the full, the full spectrum of emotions from darkness to happiness uh and yeah i mean but at the same time every day was an absolute blessing and i look back at that rumble with a fond memory even though it was truly hell week <laughs> right right uh mrs spielberg theaters are opening worldwide you know again it's a it's a it's a bright day for filmmakers and exhibitors um, uh, this is this is the, surely a big screen experience as well. Um, what, this is not a film that you could have shot in the lockdown, right? In where? During a lockdown. No, this would have been impossible to shoot during a lockdown. I, I, right. I just finished a film. I just finished shooting during the lockdown, meaning okay. they were all uh, COVID protocols. It's very, very difficult. We wouldn't have been as free to express our, our lives through these characters, our love of, of, of these songs, if we had to be as restricted 
in our interaction with each other. So this right. needed to be a pre-pandemic or a post-pandemic production. And right. thank goodness we were able to finish it before the pandemic. Right. And so lastly, you know, uh, the cast is wonderful, extremely talented bunch of actors, all of them who were in the frame. What was that one criteria that everybody should have? That everybody should, should understand the culture of the other. That everybody should be able to understand who we are, not as actors, entertainers, as dancers or singers, but as human beings. And that's why I encourage the cast to get to know each other, to hang out together, to go learn about each other. We had we had experts come in who had lived in 1957 in San Juan Hill when the whole area of that part of New York was being torn down and who were fighting each other. And we had them t t talk to the cast. And Rita Moreno did an amazing job uh, yeah. telling the cast what it was like for her. She's from Puerto Rico, but yeah. she lived a New York Rican experience, a real lived experience. And we invited people who had lived the experience to be able to share those experiences with our cast. And that wow. really helped to bond us. It really helped and it shows on the screen. Uh, thoroughly entertaining film. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.